Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you how we go about solving inequalities like you see here and here, where we've got x, the unknown, is in the power. And we've got to be very careful with questions like this, as you'll see in the video. Now, for this first one, we've got 0 0.92 to the power x is less than 0 0.1. And to solve this, the best thing you can do is take logs in any base to both sides. I would suggest, say, taking logs to base 10, but it's up to you. So if we do that, first of all, then we're going to have the log of the left-hand side, the log in base 10. Don't have to write the base here. It's understood to be base 10, remember. So it's the log of 0 0.92 to the power x is less than the log of 0.1. And then by the power rule for logs, we can bring the x out to the front, so you get x log of 0.92 is less than the log of 0.1. Next, I'm going to divide both sides then by the log of 0.92. So we would therefore have that x is going to be the log of 0.1 divided by the log of 0.92. Now, you'll notice that I've not written the inequality sign in because it's at this stage that you've got to be very careful. And remember, when you're dealing with inequalities, if you divide by a negative number, or for that matter, multiply by a negative number, the inequality sign must be reversed. So, did we divide by a negative number? Well, at first glance, it doesn't look as if it is negative, log of 0 0.92. But it is negative. You've got to remember this, and this is the place where I find a lot of people trip up. That is that if n is a number less than 1, the log of that number, the log of any number less than 1 in any base, is always a negative number. It comes out less than 0. Try it on your calculator. Just try the log of 0 0.92 and you'll find it's a negative value. And experiment with the logs of any number less than 1 in any base and you'll see exactly the same result. It's negative. So you've got to take care with this. That means we've got to reverse this inequality sign. So I'm going to do it in red just to draw that attention, OK? So from here on, it's just a question of using the calculator. And if you enter that into your calculator, you should find that you end up with x is greater than 27 point six one five and so on and if you gave that answer say to three significant figures x is going to be greater than twenty seven point six to three sf so that's essentially the point that i wanted to make with this question here don't trip up then when you divide by a negative number or certainly what doesn't seem to be a negative number just remember this result OK, well, this brings us on to this next example. And in this next one, you can see it's slightly different from this one, whereas we've got 5 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the power 2x plus 1 is greater than 2,000. So what do we do with something like this? Well, they're to the same base, base 5 here, so I can add the powers. I should be able to see that this is the same as working with 5 to the power x plus 2x, which is 3x, and then plus 1. And that's going to be greater than 2,000. And here on, it's much the same as what we did here. Only you've just got to take a bit of care over certain steps. I'll, I'll show you. Log both sides, OK, to any base. I'm going to suggest base 10. It's very quick. And if we do that, we're going to have the log in base 10 of 5 to the power 3x plus 1. And that's going to be greater than the log in base 10 of 2000. And then by the power rule, bring out the 3x plus 1 
in the front of the log 5. Don't forget though to put that in brackets, okay? And then you multiply that with log of 5 in base 10 and then that's going to be greater than the log of 2000 in base 10. And at this stage it's best just to expand the bracket. Okay, so if we do that, you've got 3x times log of 5, and then 1 times the log of 5, so that's plus the log of 5, and that's greater than the log of 2000. And then if we rearrange this for x, we're going to subtract this term from both sides. That will leave us with 3x times log 5 is greater than the log of 2000 minus log 5 and then divide both sides by 3 log 5 so that's going to give you x and then we've got log of 2000 minus the log of 5 and that's going to be all divided by 3 times log 5 notice I've not put the inequality sign in at this stage but what is it? Is it going to be greater than or is it going to be less than? Well, we're dividing by 3, which is a positive value. Log 5 is a positive value because the 5 is greater than 1. It's only, remember, when it's less than 1, you get a negative value. But you can always check it out on your calculator anyway. So for this one, the inequality sign stays the same as it was up here. So... Leave you to work that out on your calculator. If you do, you should find you get 1.2409 and so on. And if we round this one up to say three significant figures, then x is greater than 1.24 to 3sf. Okay, three significant figures.